have a piece of cardboard, piece of plywood, or a bee escape board, get it. You need a piece that's the same size as this box, okay? This is the top box. We're going to set the top box aside. Set the bee escape board. Put a piece of duct tape on your bee escape board if you got one. If not, like I said, cardboard, wood, whatever. Set that here. Flip the bottom box over. Set it on top of the bee escape board, okay? Then what we're going to do after we put the bees in is we're going to put the floor on, just like so. We're going to flip the whole thing over, all right? Okay. Package with no queen. Use your high tool to pry the cover off. There's the feeder can underneath. Don't throw this too far, you'll need it. Queen package. Pry the cover off of that. This one's coming off real nice. I like it when they do that. Here's your feeder can. Give them another thumb. Make sure they're all knocked down sufficiently. facing up so it doesn't run all over the ground. Reach in and grab the queen cage. Look inside the queen cage and make sure she's alive. There's the queen cage. You see the queen? She's at the bottom right now. And she has, uh, looks like she has four attendants in there but one of them is dead. This is the non-candy end. That's the candy. That's the queen candy. I have two nails in my pocket today. We're going to get the smaller nail. And we're going to dig this little cork out of here to expose the candy. Now what we're going to do, once we've got our cork out, is we're going to use a nail and very carefully, watching the queen push through the queen candy to make a tunnel. You know, I'm going to get the bigger nail. And I'm going to push through very carefully. That queen, she just wants to be by that queen candy all of a sudden. Okay, get away from there. Okay, see our nail? There's our nail. Now we have a little tunnel through the queen candy. Okay, if you don't put a tunnel through the queen candy, bees might do what these bees are doing. They're trying to figure out how to get her out of there through that screen. And uh, putting a tunnel through there, bees inside the hive will immediately start working away at that candy. It speed up the process and you don't, you know, you're not going to come back two days from now and find out your queen's still in there. So I always do that. I think it works very well. If it was cold out here, folks, I would tell you to put this queen cage in your pocket, your coat pocket, your shirt pocket, whatever. Pretty nice day, so we're just going to set her aside. You don't want your queen getting cold. We're just going to set her right here. A little sunshine. She'll be happy and content for a few minutes. Back to our queen package that no longer has a queen in it. And to our no queen package, and get this feeder can out of here cover back on right away. Okay, this is where it gets exciting. <clears throat> this is our queen package. Carry the package over to the inverted bottom box and shake. So the bees don't go flying out of the hole when you hit it, knock them down in the corner and shake them some more. They're all sticky so that if you get lucky they kind of roll like a big ball down and out of the hole.
out of the hole and into the hive and you never get them all. I think there's about 20 left in here. We're going to grab our non-clean package. I'm about half and I don't, you know, pay much mind to measurements. Dump a bunch of them in there. over here, put the lid back on. Use a high tool to hold her down in the wind. Speaking of wind, I hope you can hear me. It is windy. Okay, We've got an inverted bottom box. We're gonna put an inverted floor on top of it. Inverted. Okay, rough side of the landing board. You see. <laughs> Pick up the bee escape board hand under. Grab a hold of the floor and turn the whole thing over. Line up your box corners so it's pretty. Entrance reducer, nothing more than a block of wood. Reduce it down right now before the bees start pouring out. Get in there, girl. Get in there. Okay. Use a little bigger reducer, but I got to reduce down to about two inches, which is good. Okay, take off the bee escape board and give it a shake. Or they can really hold on when they want to. Place the bee cave. Gonna bulldoze some bees out of the way. Bees hate bee brushes. They really do. They don't like it at all. Down where you're not going to squish any of them. Let's do it this way. What I do, get one side down. And very carefully, slowly. Ease it. Up, down a little bit. If you are squishing a bee, it gives them a chance to get out of there. Saying him, but they're all hers. Most of them, anyway. I did see a couple of drones in these packages. Not very many. There we go. About, uh, I don't know, four and a half, five pounds of bees, because I think these packages are a little bit over. Now, sitting over there on my last empty hive was our feeders. Thanks.